Hi, Tim Bigham, back for Delta Derivatives, Option Hedges and Edges, taking a look at the market that's back after a big time sell off on the opening. S&P's Dow and especially NASI have turned sharply higher here. So that kind of reflexive rally, I think might portend the signal at least of a short term low. We saw the VIX poking its head towards 17. So option price is fairly expensive here. I like selling both sides of the market as a trade here, doing what's called a iron condor trade. So selling out of the money put spreads and call spreads, both using uh, about a one standard deviation to the upside and downside on a lot of names. One name I really like uh, selling downside puts on, I'd be a willing buyer on is Alibaba. Broke the 150 level here. Huge underperformer. Chinese stocks getting absolutely decimated here. Trading at the biggest discount to U.S. stocks basically in the past eight years. So I like it on a relative value basis. Plus IV is way up so I can get further out of the money on that trade. Taking a look at some unusual option activity. So repeat call buying in SNAP in the November 2nd expiration. These calls are actually up in price with the stock down down in price. So I'm jumping in with Snap trading at about 725, buying shares overselling these November 8 and $9 calls, just looking to be a willing seller on Snap on a rally and absolutely hedging my downside by selling some comparatively expensive premium and overselling it uh, in SNAP. Another unusual option activity trade where I'm looking to capture some vol here is on Zions Bank, Z-I-O-N. Big time buyer, repeat buyer, November 55 calls. Again, stock down these calls up in price over the past couple days, so I'm selling those calls. Hedging here by selling the comparatively expensive November 50 puts because a put call parity calls and puts both up in price. We do have earnings coming in about a week and a half, but I look to be out of the trade when vol reverts to the mean on that one. Otherwise, I think this market is a trader's delight here. We're getting intraday volatility to say the least. So I think uh, if you don't get into the trade right away, patience pays, wait, you may get that price again. So until next time, as always, here's the good trading. Take care.